In this lesson, we will learn about what is user equivalence. In 11G R2 rack environment, user equivalence, or SSH, is very, very important, especially when it pertains to the install in the rack environment. The whole point of installing a rack environment is that we install our software from one centralized location, and then that can push it out to all of the other nodes within the rack. Come over here, I'm going to navigate to my user02 stage directory. Under my user02 stage directory, I have a grid directory. If I come over here on node 2, you can see that on node 2, I don't even have that directory. So what we're able to do on node 1 is what we're going to identify basically what's referred to as our primary node. Not necessarily the primary node, it's just the node that we install the software from. So then if I navigate to grid, under grid, I can see that I have the executable run installer. The whole reason that we establish SSH is that we're installing our software from node 1 and then we're pushing it out to node 2. We're halfway in the middle of the installation process, we don't want to stop and have to enter in specific passwords. SSH stands for user equivalent, or basically it stands for secure shell. This enables me to also do things like SCP. SCP stands for secure copy. So for example, for me to establish a secure connection, if I wanted to log on to node 2 from node 1, I would type in SSH, and then I would say Oracle at Rack 1. See here, because I have already established SSH, it is not going to prompt me for a password. If I come over here and I go to SSH Oracle at Rack 1, again, because SSH has already been established, I do not have to establish a password. If I'm on node 1 and I want to SSH over to Rack 2, I would say SSH RCL Rack 2. So you'll notice over here on node 1, node 1 is connected to Rack 2 and node 2 is connected to Rack 1. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this shell, just exit over here, type in exit over here. How this is established is on node 1 I did an ls-al. Now what we see is we have a directory here .ssh. So if I do a cd to .ssh, underneath here I have specific files. I have authorized keys and I also have known hosts. In order for you to establish a secure shell from one node to another, this directory .ssh will be created. Now the advantage in an Oracle 11G R2 racked environment is that Oracle establishes and creates these SSH keys for you. It used to be prior to Oracle 11 GR2, you had to spend literally about a half a day creating these SSH keys. As part of the grid infrastructure install, these keys are automatically created for you. I'm gonna open up the known host file. All you see here is a bunch of garbly gook, really, but it does say at the very top, rack one, and it gives you the IP address. And then we'll also give you the RSA key. Secure Shell gives us really two things. Number one, it enables us to navigate from node to node without providing a password. Number two, it does the encryption and it provides a key to that calling node to make sure that nobody can trap or capture our data. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this file. All of these files here, the identity, the known host, the authorized keys are automatically created when you go through the grid infrastructure install. Again, I cannot stress this enough. I've gone in and I've done this on more than one occasion where I've had to spend about half of my day establishing these keys, and it is very difficult and very consuming because what has to happen is that node one has to see node two, node two has to see node one, and then each individual node needs to be resolved at the IP address, the alias, as well as the public interconnects and the private interconnects. And it's not that difficult when you have two nodes, but when you have a three or four node rack, where node one needs to see nodes two, three, and four, and node four needs to see one, two, and three in every combination thereof. When we do this, or when we establish it through the grid infrastructure, it does make it substantially easier. Now, if I come over here to node two, if we come over here and we look at our user, the .ssh values of the .ssh directory is created under the slash home slash oracle. So now if I do a ls-al, here you can see the .ssh. If you wanted to get rid of all of your secure connections, it would be very, very simple to do. Quite frankly, all you have to do is blow away this .ssh directory. 
So once you blow away the .ssh directory, now when you try to establish a connection to another host, it's going to ask you for a new RSA key and everything. And I've actually ran into that sometimes when the hosts become confused. Sometimes you may need to blow away the .ssh and reestablish it. But that is the whole point and the whole idea of user equivalence. Number one, is when we do installs, we can install software to another host without providing the password. And then number two, it does give us that secure connection.